What makes a house a home? Uh, some, somewhere comfortable to be, somewhere secure, somewhere warm, somewhere that has all the ad amenities that we all like, electricity, plumbing, uh, TV, all that kind of stuff. Coming home to a warm house, warm dinner. It's got to be comfortable, cozy, warm. Uh, just going home to a family is what makes my house a home. So the top of your junction Tucker box. construction students might be learning how to build the solid structure. Right but they're also nice picking easy. up other skills. Uh, actually, when I first came here, I, I didn't think that a lot of the people were uh, the people I'd hang out with. I, was, I wasn't really good with teamwork. A lot of them weren't. We've developed and we've became French friends. But we've got a, we got a lot better with it. We get a lot of stuff done faster with our limited time. So it's not bad. It's for a good cause. Tucker partners with Habitat for Humanity to create a project that goes beyond the class. So to be able to partner with them and uh, provide those homes is a, is a big thing. And I think a lot of the students get a lot of out, out of that too, knowing they're helping someone in their own community. It's, uh, it's a good experience to be able to leave after the end of the day and, and see the excitement on, on the students' faces about what they're doing and what they're accomplishing every day. Everything, the foundation all the way up to the roof. So. We've learned, we've learned quite a bit, actually. I, I just like doing everything, actually. It's, it, just working with all my friends and putting all the house together, it's just really fun. The students spend every afternoon after class and lunch out at the house, building from the ground up, even in the middle of winter. Day one, before we all started coming out here, I told everybody to, just to be ready for the weather and, and to dress for the weather as best they could. Uh, we do that, and then you've seen inside the house we have some heaters set up, so we try to rotate people if they're working outside to come in and out as, as they need to, to to stay warm. We we do the best we can to try to keep warm. It's going to get cold. I did not realize it was going to be this cold. But all of that work is good practice for anyone who wants to do this long term. My stepdad, he would go and work on houses during the summer, and I'd go with him and do what the little bit I could at being 13. And uh, after, after I get out of here, I do want to automatically get, get a job in construction. It's, it's a good hobby to know. Like you can get older, your house breaks down, or maybe you need something wrong fi to fix your electrical. Why pay somebody if you could do it yourself? It's a handy, uh, what would you call it, skill? So do you think you want to do construction after? Oh yeah. My, uh, yep, my uncle, me and him's done already been talking about that, so. Hopefully I get the business, that'd be nice. With the tools of the trade in hand and the framework for their futures, these students are ready to turn this house into a home. For Crossroads, I'm Marissa Hinderocker. So prepare for that.